Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosie Rivera and today we are making cold porcelain clay. For this, we are going to need the following ingredients. One cup of wood glue, that is 850 density at least, and ideally white to make sure your clay turns out white and it's easier to work with in color. One cup of cornstarch, one tablespoon of glycerin, one tablespoon of sodium benzoate, two tablespoons of fabric softener, one tablespoon of baby oil. And for your tools, you're going to need one Teflon pan and a wooden spatula. As you can see here, in a Teflon pan, we're going to combine all the ingredients until you get a homogeneous mixture. Then we're going to place it on the stove over medium heat, stirring constantly with the wooden spatula until the mixture thickens, which is approximately in 20 to 25 minutes. The clay will thicken and form lumps, as you can see here. And it's going to be ready once it comes off the pan completely and cleanly. You can see it's sort of doing this now. We're just going to keep on stirring it, making sure it doesn't stick to the pan at all. We're going to keep moving it. As you can see, it's getting even more clumps now. And then we're eventually going to get one big paste or mixture that you can, that's going to be our clay. At this point, it's getting a bit more difficult to continue to mix it. So we're just going to try to do our best and scrape off the sides as well and then just keep going. If we leave it in one place, it's definitely going to overcook and then it won't be usable. So you have to keep moving it. Now it's almost ready, we're almost getting there, and as you can see it seems like it's done, but it's still sticking to the spatula. So we have to keep moving it around until it doesn't stick anymore. And it's done. Now we have that consistency we needed and we're ready to move on to the next step. Now that it's done, we are going to remove it from heat and place it on a surface where we can knead it. Of course, we are going to let it rest a bit until it cools down, but just a little bit, not completely because we still have to we're going to have to knead it while it's still warm. We do this to get rid of any remaining lumps and so we get a smooth dough in the end.
Now to check if we have the right consistency now and it turned out well, we are going to take a piece of dough and break it or split it apart, as you can see right here. If it's ready, two peaks should form at the ends. So on both of those sides we just split apart. Now that it's ready, we're just going to let it cool completely and store it in a plastic bag for 24 hours. After letting it rest for 24 hours, our cold porcelain clay will be ready to use.